Wherever fearsome beasts have roamed, the legend of the werewolf persists. Even in the tropical paradise of the Pacific, where it is said and believed that when the shadow of the moon is cast, he who is cursed will be transformed from an ordinary man into a vicious beast. Ease up, take it easy, lighten the load. That's the cause of your tension. Listen, I see it all the time, guys our age out there trying to hustle that extra buck. Yeah, well, what do you think about the dream? Or the nightmare, whatever it was. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Especially if you can't remember what it was all about. Yeah, I never remember my dreams. I just wake up in the morning knowing I had one and whether it was pleasurable or not. This one wasn't. Well, if you want, I can refer you to a psychologist. You know, someone into dream analysis, Jungian stuff. A lot of good ones in Los Angeles. And I don't think that's it. It's like I said, you've got to get away. Get away from all the wheeling and dealing and the contracts and the long hours. You know, I watched you the other night at Fogel's party. Everyone was busy hustling everyone else's wife or date, except you. You were busy hustling deals. Do yourself a favor, huh?
Enjoy your stay, Mr. Farmer. Huh? Enjoy your stay. Oh. Thanks. Unfortunately, aloha means goodbye as well as hello. Oh, we're leaving. Yeah, back to work. But uh, Sherry just came in. Sherry? And Chris and Sally will be here at the end of the week. What's the arrangement here? We're all stewardesses, but we keep the cottage year-round for our layovers. We used to just stay in Waikiki, but then we discovered this place. Yeah. Hey, you girls are going to be late. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, hello, friend. I'm Sherry. Aloha. Aloha. Bye-bye. Maybe you can get something going. Huh? With him. How is the uh, action around here? Not bad. Well, there's always Rick. Looking for you all morning. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Where have you been? Out investigating. Investigating what? Well, that car theft I had yesterday. I jogged up to the surf rider to check with their security services. They wanted to compare notes. Couldn't you use the phone? I needed the exercise. Well, as you can see, someone broke in here last night, but uh, nothing seems to be missing. There's nothing much of any worth here, except maybe the maid's pass keys, but nothing's missing. Yeah, I'm uh, 
Getting away from it all, as they say. I'm not even going to read a newspaper. It's like a convention. Yeah. Where are you going, Diane? I left my briefcase. I'll be right back. that break into housekeeping, so they're going to be doubling their rounds. Yeah, okay, I want the guest rooms very extra closely because it's pretty obvious what we got here. Let's take a look at that. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> What's not bad? Not bad for a weekday. There's a pretty good assortment of wahinis at the pool today. <laughs> You're the house detective, not the social director. Yeah. And you know what I think? What? We have a professional room thief ripping us off. You know, I'd guess someone's made an impression of the master keys. Good guess. Judy or Kay? Yeah, but the suite was empty a couple of days last week. Oh, I know. The airlines, they keep changing our flight schedules around. Like this weekend, I'm the only one here. Oh, yeah? No Sally? No Sally. Won't I do? Well, you're the best of the bunch. Look, I got plans for tonight, but how about tomorrow night? Nothing better comes up. something to do. Just play a few more sets of tennis. I want to do a little more shop. No, I think she's serious. I am right. Let's go to my room. I've got to respect this and all the numbers. But I think I'll pass. But we'll meet in my room and talk over breakfast. Right. See you then. Come on. Good night. What time is it? It's 12 o'clock. Do you mind if we call it a night, Jason? I've got an early tee off tomorrow morning. Not at all. It's a real pleasure meeting you, people. Say it was nice meeting you. Good night, Jason. Good luck with your real estate. How's the convention? 
It hasn't started yet, but I can tell it's going to be a drag. And how's the vacation? I'm very vacating. I've emptied my mind and let all the... How did you know? What? I'm usually on business when I'm traveling. I just know. How? By how relaxed you looked out by the pool. You fell asleep. No, I did that just to uh, get your attention. Your snoring attracted everyone's attention. <laughs> I'm Jason Pollard. Diane May. Pleasure. When you smiled at me A smile that opened the door <laughs> When did you graduate? You were just trying to find out how old I am. No, no. Yes. Well, I'm 30. You're not 30. I am. And unlike most girls or women or whatever one calls us at 30, reaching trio was not traumatic. Hmm. That makes you unique. No. What makes me unique is I did things I wanted to do. I set some goals and I attained them. That's all. Like becoming a corporate vice president? Yeah. That was one of them. But enough about me. Let me tell you about you. Okay. <laughs> All right, you told me you were born in New York City. Uh -huh. So I'll go from there. I'd say you went through school not liking or disliking it, but getting good enough grades to go to college because that was the thing to do. Of course. I'd say Harvard. Excepting I'd bet you fooled around too much to get in there. <laughs> so probably another Ivy League college. <laughs> Would you believe Cornell? Cornell. Mm -hmm. Right. And you... Get your grades high enough to make law school? Ah, oh, but you didn't go. Instead, you went to business school. <laughs> <laughs> Wharton. Ah. Oh, You're incredible. Go on. That puts you smack into Vietnam. But you probably avoided the draft. And went straight to work. No. You traveled first. Europe, of course. Then you went to work. You were too busy hustling to stop and get married. But there was that one special girl. You wanted to live with her. She couldn't do anything so risque. She wanted to get married. You said no. And there hasn't been anyone that special since. Excuse me. I uh, gotta get some air. They were just walking along when they heard some kind of strange noise coming from over there. What kind of strange noise? It was loud and deep, like some kind of big animal. It was like, whatever it was, it was an agony. I checked all around, couldn't find anything. 
Well, except for some trampled underbrush. But the gardeners could have done that. got all the facts and figures and a product that makes a lot of sense. All I want you guys to do is to pin down Grady. Get me a meeting with him. Tomorrow. I'll see what I can do. Mm. We uh, better be going down. I uh, want to hear the committee report. You two go without me. Save me a seat. I'll be right down. Hello? Diane. How are you? What happened to you? I swear, I don't know. Uh, it must have been a too much. A what? A too much. Too much sun, too much rum. Well, obviously, you're feeling better. Oh, I am. I feel fine. And I want to apologize. For what? Feeling fine? You know, I was so concerned, I called your room a couple of times during the night, and there was no answer. That's strange. I, uh... I don't remember where I went or what I did after I left you in the bar. Have you seen a doctor? I talked to the front desk and they recommended one in the nearest village. It's another reason I called. I've arranged for a car and I wondered if you might like to go over there and do some shopping and uh, maybe go sightseeing later. How about it? Well, I wish I could, but... Well, why can't I? Sure, why not? I'd love to. Great. Give me ten minutes. Okay. Second floor. Roger. Rick, I put Moosey and Tim on overtime. All the units are being double checked. They know we're looking for a room thief? Yeah. All right, let's go. seems to be quite normal. But if you have any more of those symptoms you describe, the perspiring, chest pains, just come in and we'll run some more extensive tests. 
You really think it's another anxiety attack? From what you tell me your personal physician said, and from what I can see myself, yes, I'd concur with his diagnosis. A steady stream of overworking is bound to produce this sort of thing. But I did nothing but relax yesterday. Yes, but it isn't that easy to relax. It has to be learned, even on vacation. And those too much as you talked about, sun exposure and alcohol, they'll both aggravate a condition such as yours. You know, when the problems of a New York practice got too much for me, I semi-retired here to Kauai, and I've never felt better. I've learned to relax. <laughs> That's an Elio Hae Kapua Tiki. They're ugly, but I sell quite a few of them. Does it have any special significance? They all do, though I don't know what that's supposed to do. But all tikis have some sort of supernatural power. Obviously, you don't believe it. I don't, but the locals sure do. How's it going? Fine, still browsing. How about you? Yeah, the little old doctor prescribed a heavy dose of relaxation. Two aspirin, if that doesn't work. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't buy anything. Didn't you know all the wine souvenirs are made in the Philippines? <laughs> Say that again. I will. That was really a strange woman. The way she stared at you. It was funny. It was funny. I feel like I knew her. I don't know why. Aloha. 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 <laughs> Come on, let's play tours. All right. There should be a road coming up on the left. Then it's just a short drive. It's such a beautiful island. And we've only been to three of the suggested highlights. You know, some developer's gonna get in here. Hey, and he's gonna... I thought you weren't even gonna think business. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Burton, drowned, 1882. Poor old Arthur. Look, there's his wife, Sybil. Why are you in such a hurry? guy look like you Josiah Mulray my great grandfather on my mother's side you're putting me on no he was a missionary here in the 1870s my grandmother used to talk about him all the time that's one of the reasons I wanted to come to Clay stern very intense
Kai Kapua Tiki Dance, and it's part of the island's Polynesian heritage. It says here that it was an ancient animistic ceremony performed in secret until the altar was destroyed by missionaries in 1878. A curse, it is said and believed, haunts the descendants of the defilers. A curse? What's Hawaii without a lua? You want to stay and watch this? Uh, no, not really. Let's walk up the beach. There's a seafood restaurant which is supposed to have a great group in the bar. Sounds good. Let's go. session that I must attend. But I'll be free after that. Maybe, uh, we could hit the beach about noon. Great. I might even be finished earlier. You're a freaky chick, Sherry. I'm freaky? Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. well, uh, Sally has been telling me uh, some of the stunts that you have pulled. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? Mm. Well, come on, tell me. What'd she tell you? Shh. She has told me everything. Hey, look, I'm not going to get involved in a little game play. I dig you when I dig Sally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you dig Judy, and you dig Kay. Well, uh, this is a, uh, a swinging room. It's all right with me. I'm a, I'm a big girl. I know. You have a uh, late date. Mm. I'm running a security check.
gotta be kidding, Russ. I left here around one, ten after, I guess. What security services you provide? You ought to be my prime suspect. Oh, come on, Russ. Look, I knew her. I liked her. She wasn't into drugs or anything wrong, so this doesn't make sense. I can't figure it out. And it's not your job to figure it out. That's my job. Now you just stick to chasing the towel thieves. Understand? No problem, folks. Just a heart attack. Did you get a look? No. Throwing those boys had to cover her up before I got here. Oh, I've never seen anything so brutal. I mean, she was torn apart. The only time I've ever seen anything that was worse was that shark attack years ago. Really that bad, huh? It was awful. Lieutenant Court, Kauai Police Department. Yeah? I was wondering if I could have a few words with Mr. Palmer, isn't it? Yeah, uh, come in. Thank you. I'm questioning all the guests in the cottages along the lagoon. Perhaps you could be of some help. Uh, I'll try. I didn't wake you up, did I? No, I was, uh... Just about to get dressed. Why don't you sit down? There's several things I'd like to ask you. Well, first thing I'd like to know is, were you in your suite last night? Uh, um, not till one or so. Did you hear anything? No, nothing. I think I've done right to sleep. Excuse me, can you tell me what this is all about? A minute ago, out on the patio, I overheard a couple of officers uh, talking about... The girl in the adjoining suite was found dead this morning. Sherry? The stewardess? Yeah. Did you know her? No, not really. I, uh, I was just talking to her yesterday around the pool. You say that you uh, think you fell asleep right away. Are you sure you didn't hear any noises from next door? Like from a struggle, for instance? No, not a thing. What about during the day? Did you hear or see anything? Well, yeah, I, I saw the girl. She shares the... Shared the suite with. They were just leaving. How long are you going to be on the island, Mr. Palmer? Just in case some other questions come up. Well, at least until Friday. Well, if you think of anything, anything at all, something uh, she may have said, something she may have done, something you may have seen, please let me know. Something may flash across your mind. If it does, give me a call, will you? Sure. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi. What's going on? Come on in, I'll explain. Excuse me. Hmm. Thanks again. Who is he? What's the matter? The uh, girl next door, stewardess, was killed last night. 
That was Lieutenant Court from the police. Wanted to know if I heard anything during the night. Like a struggle. Did you? No, I was out of it again. I crashed. Well, are you all right now? I am, but... But what? What is it? Uh, the lieutenant didn't tell me this, but I overheard a couple of his men talking, and... She was torn apart. Torn apart? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get dressed. Now, Dora, tell me exactly what you told the police. Well, all I told them is what happened. There was no sign on the door, so I knocked. I used the pass key. I called out, and I got no answer. So I pushed my card in. Oh, and there she was, all twisted up, half on the bed, half on the floor. Rick. I thought I'd see what I could find out. I mean, she was murdered in our hotel. That's a police case, not yours. You cooperate with them, but don't talk to anyone else. Oh, yes, sir. You've got a case of your own to solve. Some of our guests' rooms have been looted. Well, you know the old expression, the walls have ears, well, so do the boys. May I ask what's going on here? Hi, Russ. Needed some help, huh? Well, since I don't have a forensics man, I mean person, I don't know who will loan me Julie here. Well, she's the best. Number one in the class. What class? Rick and I went to college together. Criminology majors. I learned my police work in the United States Navy Shore Patrol. Maybe we didn't do things always scientifically, but we got the job done, believe me. I appreciate whatever help you two can give me. Just don't forget who's in charge here. Me. I don't want you sticking your nose where it don't belong like you did last time. You read me? I hear you. Come on, let's have a beer. Both of you. What are you looking at? Beautiful. 
beautiful night. What's so beautiful about it? You. <laughs> You know, I didn't really expect this to happen. I came here to be bored by the convention. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Total relaxation. Hey, did you see this? The hotel has a place across the island, Paradise Retreat. It's supposed to be very beautiful and very relaxing. Mm. No telephones, no televisions. A few little huts in a secluded cove. Mmm, sounds wonderful. Let's go. Not today. Mm. I've got meetings all day and all night. Mm. But tomorrow, huh? let's drive there and spend the night. Mmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks so funny. Well, I was just thinking, for me, it's a perfect vacation. I don't have to do anything, not even make dates. Uh, you lucky man. You know it. Mm. This scar, I noticed it this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Right here. Oh, uh, that's where I was bitten by an exotic native girl. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, I asked. Uh, keep rubbing and uh, I'll tell you about it. It's, uh, mm, it's not a scar, it's a birthmark. Don't go to sleep. No, I'm not. I'm not. I was just uh, thinking about something. What? Something my grandmother told me when I was a kid about my great grandfather. The missionary. The very one. She told me that he had a scar on his neck, just like my birthmark. Hmm. She uh, was fascinated by the coincidence. His scar. Security. This is Jimmy on the desk. Yeah, Jimmy, what's up? Mr. Ryan Jennings, room 415. Just startled a thief in his room.
Prince, what the hell are you doing? Well, I was chasing someone from the top floor. Thought I might have been the thief. You said you were sending someone right up. Oh, all my favorite things. The bracelet you gave me for my birthday and my mother's cameo and, and my Gucci watch. Well, the guy was a pro, honey. He knew what he was taking. Don't touch anything. Oh, I need some fresh air. Where is he? in our lounge, Tammy went in. Yeah, I know. I gave him all the specifics. <laughs> Lieutenant, I hope we can play this down. I mean the gruesome details. People have seen. People talk. Might have been able to cover up and play down the gore and the stewardess's death. But they know that this one was ripped apart by some kind of maniac. Jason? Soundly, so I thought I'd get up and go for a walk on the beach. Yeah, I feel fine now. Sure? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do today? I don't know. Since you're busy, I thought uh, I'd get some sun and maybe drive into the village. I don't know. It's like uh, you've got car trouble, so you take it to a mechanic. With him, it runs fine. You drive away and cough, sputter, lurch, you get troubles are back again. I know how you feel, but everything appears perfectly normal. Now, that's not to say that you aren't experiencing something. Could it be psychosomatic? I'm going to forward the lab samples to Honolulu for further analysis. Maybe they can pick up something that I couldn't. Got something for me, Burn? Yeah, right here. He's got the M.O. of all the known hotel burglars here in the mainland. Great. Thanks, man. Nice. Julie. Hi, Rick. Hi. How's it going? Not too bad. Find anything? Well, I'm going to strict orders to keep my findings to myself. Your buddy Popeye the policeman? Well, he was very specific, telling me to keep you uninformed. It's for your own good, he said. Just like in college, huh? He's still peeking at my paper. What's this about Keena in here? I found some on the first victim, and in the carpet in her room. Well, we don't allow dogs in the hotel. I know all the stews that share that suite. None of them have a dog.
Well, Oceanic, Greenway, Islandia have, have all canceled. Hi, it's me. I just called to say that I won't be able to get away this evening. Oh, I'm, I'm close to finalizing the big deal. That's great. Hang in there. Oh, and uh, we can celebrate tomorrow. I made reservations for us at the Paradise Retreat. Fantastic. <laughs> Why don't we meet for an early breakfast? Okay, call me when you wake up. I will.
Jason. Jason. I'll be right up. Did you just get up? Yeah, yeah, I did. Still want to go to paradise? What? The retreat. Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah. What time is it? It's almost nine. You know, I'm really looking forward to this. Just you and me, alone, tonight. Sheets, sheets, they were torn and there was some blood. Why didn't you call me before you made up? Listen, Sonny, a lot of guests mess up rooms. They have fights. They do all kinds of weird things. But unless furniture and fixtures are damaged, I keep my nose out of it, understand? And the only reason I had second thoughts this time was in account of those two murders. I'll never enjoy myself with fish swarming all around. Ah, uh, come on. On a ring of keys, pocket full of jewelry, and a lot of cash on a corpse. Well, there's your room, thief. All of a sudden, there's one case. Yeah, your burglar ran across my killer. He was mauled worse than the others. Well, what's the connection? I mean, he's the first male victim. And the killer wasn't interested in the cash or the jewels. Who's that? It's Dan Jenner. He manages a surf rider. Lieutenant Court, your office told me you'd be here. We found a girl on the golf course. She's dead. All tore up. Aloha, Dr. Weston. Morning. I'd like to know what room of Mr. Jason Palmer is at. I'm sorry, Mr. Palmer's gone for the day, Doctor. He's on his way across the island to spend the night in our paradise retreat. Excuse me, Doc. I, uh, I'm curious about something. Can we sit down for a minute, please? I don't have too much time, Rick. I took more extensive tests on his second visit, forwarded him through Honolulu for analysis. I just got the reports, and, uh... And? I'd rather discuss this with my patient. But in essence, I'm going to suggest to Mr. Palmer that he consult with a specialist on his return to the mainland. What's wrong with him, Doc? I don't know. I just don't know. Sorry, I was just thinking about... Well, you haven't been seeing the real me. I'm not usually so... distracted. Restless. Really. I'm just glad we left all that behind us. Hmm? Those horrible murders. So awful.
know who you are. Tapulua knows everything and everyone on this island. Well, that's why I came to talk to you. I wanted to know about the... About the death. About what is happening. Yeah. Since I know who you are and what you do, it is easy to know why you have come. Yeah, well, I thought because you do know so much about the islands and because the Polynesian folklore is so full of pagan rituals that there might be something you could tell me. I mean, I know a lot of chicks who are into astrology and Scientology and... Sit down. Yeah. Yeah. My powers are more powerful. My powers are rooted deeper. My powers are as old as the islands. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. No. You have heard that Tapulua is a witch. Yeah, I've heard that too. I like you. Because I have watched you. And I have learned that you have a great love for the island. That's true. Because it is, and because the shadow of the moon has been cast, I will help you to understand the curse. The curse of the Iliohae Kapu Atiki. Tell me this before. Just after we fished that guy out of the surf. Well, I was working on something. What do you mean you were working? Well, just let on me something. finish, Russ. Now, a couple of hours ago, Doc Russell showed up asking about a guest who came to see him. Now it seems the guy's been complaining of pains and restless nights. But who's the guy? The same guy whose room door found all messed up. 
And listen to this. I saw him looking like he really hung one on coming up from the beach this morning. Well, who's the guy? Well, just wait. You haven't heard the strange part yet. A couple of nights ago, I was chasing my hotel thief up the stairwell when this monster something it scared the hell out of me. I thought it was one of those damn conventioners, but it wasn't. Oh? I didn't make the connection then. But today I started thinking back and I remember some newlyweds reporting hearing strange noises in the bushes. <laughs> oh, Russ, well, look, will you let me finish? Now, look, yesterday I was talking to Julie Chen, and she mentioned finding, among other things, canine hair in the victim's room. Now, what are you leading up to? What's this got to do with the guy you're going to tell me about? The legend and history of lycanthropy. That's what can't be. It's got to do with the delusion of becoming a wolf. A wolf? Well, when Julie said canine hair, all I could think of were dogs. The wolves are in the canine family. And so are werewolves. <laughs> Look, Ross, I know it sounds far out, but I was talking to Tapalua. And she... <laughs> werewolves? You've been smoking too much of that Maui Wowie. Well, it's not exactly a, a werewolf. An Elio Hay Kapua. <laughs> Look, I went to the library and I checked out this book on Hawaiian mythology. The Tapa Lewis! So what are we going to do? Take a lot of business trips, I guess. Hey, now me. Come on.
Where's Jason Palmer? What are you doing? What's that gun for? 